Hey everybody, just a quick prologue to this video. My son and I took our motorcycles out to New Mexico and Colorado. While there, I attempted a soda activation on Pikes Peak. Now, my brain was not working very well in that oxygen-starved environment. You're going to see in this video that I just am not thinking clearly and I'm sloppy. And uh, it was kind of comical, uh, but embarrassing. But in, in spite of that, I'm going to go ahead and show you the video. And you'll see that I did make one successful contact anyway. But uh, in case you're thinking about going to Pikes Peak, maybe this video will help you see what the terrain's like and then see just kind of the beauty of it. So while it's a, while it's a failure, it's kind of a really fun failure. So here we go. Hey, everybody. I'm Cliff in 4 ccb Today I'm in the car here with W4CBB. He just happens to be my son. And we are in Colorado. We're going to do Pikes Peak today, and we're going to set up a station and work soda. That's Summits on the Air. With the Summits on the Air program, all of the highest peaks have been cataloged in a database. The one that we're doing today, Pikes Peak, is worth 10 points to the soda chasers, and it is a 14,100 foot, 115 foot tall peak above sea level. So it's huge, and. Uh, the drive up there is uh, unforgettable, and hopefully there'll be some good scenery to show you along the way. But uh, I've got my KX2 with me, and I'm going to set up a soda beam antenna with my travel mast, and we're going to try to make some contacts. So uh, stay tuned. So I'm looking at the map that they gave us when we paid the money. It was uh, 15 bucks a piece to do this trip. And notice that there are three lakes. If your mountain has is big enough to actually hold three bodies of water, that's a big mountain. I want to look, but I don't want to, you know, die and go flying off this cliff here. And I appreciate that. <laughs> oh yeah, Hello. yeah. That'll Hello. be that'll be freaky coming down. <laughs> No question about it. Oh, I get I get a nice little oh freaky view over here. Oh yeah. Holy crap! This is pretty scary. <laughs> 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 Let's drive on the wrong side of the road. My marker 14, according to the map, is 11,800 feet. Very cool. The video cannot do this justice. I mean, we're on the edge of death. You cannot imagine how cool this is unless you're actually here feeling the cool wind and seeing these vistas. There's snow-covered mountains way over there. There is seriously a guy on a bicycle up here at almost 13,000 feet. Okay, so we're being shuttled because there's not enough parking up the top. It's really busy day today, so my soda activation is going to be late. Hopefully there'll be somebody there to talk to by the time I finally get up there. We're at the 16 mile marker right now. I've got about three miles to go up in the shuttle, so we'll see. Sunshine through the clouds, but then that stuff, which can come and dump water on us or snow. It's quite a view. Here, let's uh, let's get a 
little quick selfie of us both in the picture here. Hello from the top of Pikes Peak, 14,115 feet. And we're here. Woo! <laughs> CQ, CQ, CQ Soda. This is November 4, Charlie, Charlie Bravo. November 4, Charlie, Charlie Bravo calling CQ Summits on the air from Whiskey Zero C, Whiskey Zero Charlie stroke Foxtrot Romeo 004. Whiskey Zero Charlie stroke Foxtrot Romeo 004. This is November 4, Charlie, Charlie Bravo calling CQ Summits on the air. I think we might want to pack it up till the rain. I don't know, and, and come back, but. It looks pretty bad over there. If anybody can hear me, I'm going to have to uh, abandon this. There's a storm rolling in here, so I'm going to have to pack it up. I wasn't able to work anybody today, and uh, it was a fine ball. I think you can hear me. Uh, this is November 4, Charlie, 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 signing off. Looks fine. We're good. Nothing to see there. Come on, guys. Where are you? I just can't hear it. Zero M N A.
getting a five seven. That was three twenty six. WC2K, was that it? Ah, I can just, I can't hear. It's such a, it's so weak. You hear anything? Uh, I can't either. <sighs> Not sure what to do here. Those clouds. Oh man, I'm just not hearing anything. I worked Gary WZMNA. Oh, we better go. There was a massive lightning strike right over there. I mean, it was behind that lake. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm just saying we don't have that much time. I don't I don't know. It depends which way it's going. worked one station <laughs> before that happened that's not an official activation we have to do 10 but at least we made one contact so this was not for nothing all right let's pack this thing up Chris. all right 
Okay guys, well we kind of struck out. We came up here, we tried twice. And you can see the rain. I'm gonna show you this. It's raining right there. And Chris saw a lightning bolt. And as you look up here, there's rain clouds. And we actually have had some snow spitting some, some little snow pellets. Looks great back there. But unfortunately, the mountain kind of kind of making its own weather. So we had a great day up here. It's beautiful. Definitely worth the drive up. It'd be great to come up on another day, but uh, we gave it our shot. So that's it from the top of Pikes Peak. 14,115 feet. I'm just, I'm just taking us all the way where, where we're at it. <laughs> that would be a little tough. There's some snow here. Yep. A bit of snow. We got a ton of pictures of snow. I'm sure this is an off-roading machine. I'll tell you my story.